Hello everyone. Payment term extended AM helps user to extend the payment term using two more conditions. So it will be more useful for the accountants to track the debits. There will be two new options added. One is in first day of the next X month and the last day of the next X month. When those two options are selected, user can set an exact date and the number uh, number of next month. User can see a due date extended according to the configured due date computations as per the selection of the payment terms in the invoice. And also it will display an ex extended due date on the invoice reports as well. So let's start by configuring a payment term. For that we need to get into the invoice. Under configuration you can see a payment terms. So from here we need to create a two new payment terms in the name of first day of the next X month and the last day of the next X month. So let me get into the first one and here we need to give the name and here we need to compute it. So for computation we need to get into that and when user select in first day of the next X month option then they need to select set the due date and on the next month on the month to be paid. Okay we need to select a due date and also the month to be paid. So once these two are completed, then we can just save this option. Like the same way, we need to create a next payment term in the name of last day of the X or next X month, and we need to do the computation. As uh, here we need to select the name, uh, that is the type, and also here we need to give a month to be paid. Okay. So once this is done, let's create an invoice. So from here, we need to add a customer name. And then the invoice date here okay so from here we need to add the payment term the first one I need to add is in the first day of the next X month okay so from here I'm going to add a product and once it will be confirmed in the journal item we can see a due date will be automatically calculated based on the configurations which we have made in the payment terms okay and the thing is we can see the due date in the print as well so for that let me print an invoice okay so here you can see the due date will be automatically calculated from the invoice date right so like the same way let me create another invoice yeah from here i'm going to add a gst treatment and also the invoice date here okay so from here I am going to add that a payment term as the last day of the next X month and from here we need to add the products right so once I have confirmed so user can see this set uh, the set due date extended according to the configured due date computations for the last day of the next X month payment term right so once this is done the same thing is we can see this due date in the print also okay let me print an invoice there we can see the due date the same due date which we can see here okay based on the terms which we have added so in this way we can make use of this payment term extended app thank you for watching